All righty, guys. So uh, we're back. We're outside here. We are fixing to get the etching solution put on here. I've got one with a little etching already sprayed on it. Kind of let you guys see how it's doing. You can kind of see starting to eat that meal scale off there pretty good. And it's been sprayed on there all of maybe a minute. But uh, yeah, we'll roll through here real quick. I'll spray a little bit on this one. There you go. And we'll just keep rolling right on down the line here. Be nothing to it. But uh, I'll show you here in a minute when we get them all. We'll go over about towards the end of it there. Give you a good once over of everything. And then we'll uh, get everything sprayed off of water. Get it back in and get it all wire wheeled back down again. Sorry guys, just a couple minutes later. Everything's starting to dry up. About to put some water on it. Wash everything down. And then we'll get them etched up again. But they're doing pretty good. But uh, this one here, man, it's... Mill scale has come almost all the way off. So... Alright guys, I just put the uh, second coat on here of the etching solution. But, we got this one right here. I left it so you guys could see. Once you wash them off, those jokers will rust in a matter of minutes. But, we got a solution for that. So you don't want to leave them real long out here, especially as hot as it is right now. Shouldn't I should be over there in the shade doing this. I kind of got lazy, but... And that'll eat the rest of that mill scale off and it'll look pretty close to that one right there. We're going to let them sit just a little bit. See what happens with them. So here's the reason we do this. We do the uh, metal etching to get all that mill scale off. To get these back down to shiny uh, metal. We'll clean them up, take them in there, wire wheel everything down. The reason we're doing this is, is because these signs get the metallic paint. So without getting rid of that mill scale... Your designs and your metallic will not come through. So you've got to find a way to get that uh, mill scale and all that stuff off of there so you can get back down to the good shiny metal. And it'll shine up even more once we get the wire wheel on there. So that's going to be kind of the process in this video. We're going to walk you guys through the rest of these. Uh, we're, we'll get some paint on them and see how everything turns out. Are you okay? Are you all right? Don't scare me like that. Shoo, low. All right, can y'all stay there this time? Are y'all good? Hey, was it that boring? Y'all just run off, run away? Our guys have got everything washed off really, really well. That's right, we put water on this brand new shiny metal. As you can see, we're starting to get just a touch of rust back. But we got it squared away. We'll get in there and get the wire wheel on these jokers and get them finished up before they start rusting very much. And then we're gonna get some paint on them. All right guys, we're back in here. We got the uh, hummingbirds. We've got uh, two coats of primer on everything. We've got four Freddy Meagles, two hummingbirds. Looking good, looking good. We've uh, already put our designs on the uh, backside there. So it's turned down right now. 
we're going to let this cure and get them over there on the drying rack. We'll bring everything back over here. And we'll run through the paint process on one of them. We might do a little paint job on a hummingbird there too. Let y'all see it. It's uh, it's not very artistic, but uh, I don't know. You guys might like it. But somebody gonna make fun of me the way I paint them. I already know it's coming. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're back. Let's get uh, let's get a little paint on these Freedom Eagles. What do you think? So uh, first thing we got to do. Can you guys see that? See a little paint right there. Let's uh, let's make sure we clean our can. Yes, we spray these with aerosol. That's just part of it. All right. The reason we're cleaning that little spot right there. We uh, it, it uh, these aerosols tend to dribble just a little bit. So we want to make sure that does not happen. We don't want our blue bleeding over to our red. And you guys will see why that happens here in just a minute. All right, guys. That's all there is to it on the blue. There's uh, there's there's not a whole lot to it. We have already prepped this surface. Of course, the back is already primer. We went through and wiped everything down, made sure it was all good to go. Don't have any marks. And the reason I say uh, about the dribbling part of the paint is sometimes these aerosols have a tendency to leave little specks when you're over here on the side. So you want to make sure that tip is good and clean. You don't have any issues yes we could do this with a paint gun the whole nine yards but no more than we're doing right now we want to make sure that we uh get the most bang for the buck and aerosol for us right now is the way to go that's just uh that's just the way it is i, I don't know how else to put it uh there's too much cleanup time too much uh, money involved in doing the paint gun stuff right now for us hopefully uh you guys keep purchasing signs and uh We'll get the paint gun out, show you how we really do it. All right, so there is a little trick to this. Do not overlap that very much. If you overlap that very much, you're gonna get a pretty purple. So. But if you want a purple eagle, that's fine too. All the sides, guys, it's almost like painting a 3D object. Get all those sides covered. The front of the letters, the back of the letters. Really gotta pay attention on all the sides what you're painting. Let's give it just a touch of purple down there. Shorted it on the blue just a little bit down there, but that's all right. This paint runs like water. I mean, it's, it's crazy how thin this stuff is. So make sure you get everything covered, all the edges. And like I've told you in past videos before, it's all four sides, guys. Front, back, both sides. Make sure you're coming all different directions. You leave one of these spots uncovered, guys, you're gonna have, later on down the road, you're gonna have rust in there somewhere along the line. Make sure everything is covered. All right, so that there is that. Whew, almost dropped you guys. You guys didn't almost fall, did you? So you guys can see it. 
I got uh, one little speck there I don't like too well, but we'll uh, we'll figure it out once we get a clear coat on everything and see how it all does. We'll stick it over here on the drying rack, see what happens. You can almost tell this this blue is almost already dry. I mean, haven't painted this what just a couple minutes there, and it's it's already dry. But uh, yeah, so that's how we paint the Freedom Eagles. Not a uh, not a whole lot involved. We uh, starts out like this right here. Nice, pretty designs and all that stuff in it. There's the hummingbird. We might put that on here in just a minute. So yeah, got the back. It's all got the double coats of primer on. It's easy, guys. It's easy. You just uh, have to be good enough with a spray bomb can. You can make it work. <laughs> so, all right, guys. We're gonna try this. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. So, let me find my red here. So we want the flowers red, and then we want the red-breasted uh, hummingbird. And this is difficult, guys. It's, it's got the camera here in the way. It's just making it easy. It's a little much. All right, we got the red on. Let's get a little green on here. We got uh, a little green right there. A little green there. I am no artiste. I just wing it, guys. I just wing it. Some people say you can't do this with aerosol can. I try. That's all I can do. All right, we got the green on there. Let's do a little, uh, let's put a little, little gold on there and see what happens. There's a little gold. Got a little bit, a little bit much on there, but that's all right. We'll blend that in there. Blend that in there. You just gotta have a little bit of a a look at everything and see. Then in this paint, I'm telling you. It's, it's thinner than water. It's it's crazy how thin this stuff is. It will run at any given point. It's it's nuts. If you see what I'm doing, I'm going back over and making sure all those edges are covered and everything. I'm trying to cover every side of everything. I don't want no side left undone. And with this with this gold, you can uh, really get in there and brighten up that green and it'll give you contrast the whole nine yards. So what color are we gonna do the hummingbird? Well let's do it a little bronze. Let's put some bronze on there. Have to come in this way and it looks almost like an orange right now but here in just a minute you guys will see it'll start setting up and it'll start doing good here in just a minute but there you go guys that's what we got it uh, hadn't completely dried yet still drying as we talk but yeah, I don't think it turned out quite that bad. It's it's not it's not terrible. I'm not an artist by any way, shape, or form, but that uh, that's 
that's a pretty good one. Not uh not too shabby. But uh yeah, we've been out here in the garage getting after it. Hopefully you guys like the Freedom Eagle. Um and the hummingbird too. I forgot about the hummingbird, but uh can't thank you guys enough for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Please, by all means, hit the like button. And uh leave us a comment down there and let me know how I messed up. Let me know what all uh what all you think. So so this is Junior with SOT Metalworks. Guys, we are out. Uh, find the Freedom Eagles and the Hummingbirds at SOT Metalworks slash Shooter Option Targets on Facebook. Uh, SOT Metalworks on Instagram. Shoot us an email at ShootersOptionTargets at gmail.com and we'll get you guys hooked up. So y'all have a fine outstanding evening. Be safe, be careful, and remember, work smarter, not harder.